Methane gas, perhaps best known as a byproduct of cow farts, is one of the biggest offenders of global warming. But you know what else stinks about it? It can make you really, really sick. Hi guys, Lisette and Trace here for DNews. A leaky SoCal gas company well is spewing 30,000 kilograms of methane into the atmosphere every hour and will likely take months to repair. Since October 2015, thousands of people have evacuated from nearby Los Angeles neighborhoods. While they wait for the repairs, residents are living in temporary housing for fear of becoming ill from methane inhalation. But where is it coming from and what does methane do to the body exactly? Methane, or CH4, is odorless, colorless, and made up of one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. It's the main component of natural gas, which is typically what your stove and heaters burn, and along with petroleum systems, these are the number one sources of methane global emissions. In tiny concentrations, methane is essentially harmless and non-toxic. It is found naturally in our atmosphere, after all. The trouble comes at higher concentrations when it reacts with the oxygen in the air. So when methane finds its way into the air, bonds break, and the atoms rearrange to create water and carbon dioxide. So if on a cold winter night, methane enters your oxygen-rich living room through a leak in your gas fireplace, that's not good at all. Or in this case, when massive amounts of methane expand over a neighborhood and the atmosphere becomes oxygen depleted and people get sick. It may seem like lack of oxygen is bad, no duh, but it can cause heart attacks, seizures, drops in blood pressure, loss of consciousness, or even death, particularly if you're exposed in a confined area. Simply put, if there's too much methane in the air, there won't be enough oxygen to breathe and people can asphyxiate. In this case, it is leaking from a damaged well and SoCal Gas Company is still looking for a way to stem the leak. In the meantime, Californians have evacuated the area which should keep them from the worst of the symptoms. At lower concentrations, methane can cause headache, dizziness, nausea and vomiting and difficulty with motor skills but doesn't lead to any permanent damage. Yeah, most of the time, people's biggest complaint about methane is the stench coming from leaks in their homes, though methane is odorless, manufacturers add an odorant so that it can be detected if a leak does occur. The stench people usually confuse with methane actually comes from small amounts of sulfur, mercaptan, or other smelly gases that are added to the natural gas. In other words, the nose knows and can serve as an early detection alarm. Guys, if you love test tube shows like D News, you can check out our new newsletter. Get a weekly roundup of all of our most popular videos across all of our shows at testtube.com slash FWD forward. What's neither useful nor pleasant, however, are methane-laden cow farts. To learn how they blew up a barn and to learn more about methane's impact on the environment, check out my awesome video on that right here. The planet has 1.5 billion cows, and they emit methane as they digest their food in their four stomachs. The bacteria living within cows help them break down the grass, but create methane, ammonia, and other gases in the process. Have you ever encountered a natural gas leak? How did that affect you? Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching D News, everyone. Remember to subscribe.